we say Allah. Okay, so that's God to the Muslims. Some say it's not even the God of the Christians and so on. It's just a God. Some even said it's a moon God. But let us now look at the linguistic of the word Allah. It in itself is the beauty of Islam. Because the word in Arabic doesn't mean God. Just in case you thought it did, it doesn't. Because we have a word in Arabic for the word in English, God. It's called Elah. Elah, God. God, Elah. That's the word. But when we speak about the one and only God, the one that's to be worshipped, the God of Adam, the God of Abraham, and the God of Moses, God of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and the God of Muhammad, peace be upon him, we're talking about essentially the only God that's worthy to be worshipped. No other God. Now, what would be the proof of this? I, I realize that we have a lot of detractors who will say, no, 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 it's not true, I don't believe it. Let's uh, get a proof from the English translation of the Bible. That's a good place to start. Around the earth, there are many hotels and motels. And almost every one of them that you go to, there's a drawer beside the bed that when you open it up, you'll find a book in there and you'll take it out. Now, what is that book? And you already know the answer. It's the Bible. It's the Gideon publication of the King James Version of the Bible. The Gideons are very proud of it because they've translated it into so many languages. If you'll turn a few pages right in the beginning, you'll find examples of the translation to Chinese and Korean and into Urdu, the language of Pakistan. You'll find it into Tamil. You'll find it translated into Afrikaans language, which happens to be the first. And the second language translated to is Arabia, Arabic. And there is an example of each one of these languages from the verse in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. And you know it very well. For God so loved the world. That's how it begins. And if you look in the Arabic language, the example that they gave in that Bible, it says Allah. Allah. That's what it says. For Allah so loved the world. So if it's not the same God, then why? All over the entire earth, everywhere I go, I find this exact same word being used in the Bible of the Christians. Now you might say, well, well uh, what about the Old Testament? Well, just in case you would like to check it out, you can obtain a copy of this from our website. It's called The Beauties of Islam. It starts with BeBeautiesOfIslam.com. Go there and see for yourself. The example is right there. Page 1 of the book of Genesis, at the very beginning of the Quran, page 1, has 17 verses. <laughs> and there's the word Allah, Alif, Lam, Lam, Ha, 17 times.